I want you to have access to the best 1031 exchange exit plan because I believe most high net worth individuals, when they go to sell their investment property, sometimes they're overpaying for properties. In fact, they're taking on too much debt, not enough liquidity, and they don't have enough diversification. They're letting the tax tail wag the investment dog. I've seen it too many times when someone's in a 1031 exchange and the seller knows that you're in a 1031 exchange and you end up overpaying for a property that otherwise you wouldn't have purchased. Hey, my name is Brett Swartz and I'm founder of Capital Gains Tax Solutions and every single day we're looking for ways to help you as an investor not feel trapped by capital gains tax, especially when exiting highly appreciated assets. Now let's face it, in a 1031 exchange, you have 45 days to identify, 180 days to close, and sometimes this can feel like a shotgun wedding. You're getting married too quick to a property that otherwise you wouldn't have purchased. And that's why I wanna offer you a 1031 exchange exit plan that's gonna be a alternative or a rescue just in case your 1031 exchange fails. Now I've had the, uh, the fortunate opportunity to start my practice of multifamily brokers at a place called Marcus and Millichap, and have done 1031 exchanges, De Delaware Tax Trust, and Deferred Sales Trust, and today I wanna to offer you the opportunity to never have to feel trapped by 1031 exchanges ever again uh, by simply uh, working with me, working with me on your next exchange or any future exchanges. In fact, let's dive into a couple stories right now to give you an idea of what this could do for you. And let's start with Dave Levinson. In fact, Dave has done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of properties over the years, um, either helping clients and or selling him for himself. And during this time frame, over his period of, of investing properties, in these 1031 exchanges, he often felt like the deals didn't make a lot of sense. In fact, this was during COVID when the marketplace was actually at a shift. He was selling a $7.6 million multifamily property in Georgia. And he was faced with a large, large amount of debt and not a lot of certainty when it came to finding an asset. And so we saved his failed 1031 exchange, extinguished all of his debt, and put him in a liquid position to invest into properties at his own timing. And that's the beauty of what we're offering you today. You can go for your 1031 exchange, and if you don't find it, no problem, we can save that failed 1031 exchange. Now this strategy that I'm working with, that I'm gonna help you with, has been proven close to 30 years, thousands of transactions, and it's also been through over 24 no change IRS audits. And so what you wanna make sure you're understanding when you're getting this course, when you're getting access to this 1031 exchange plan, is the ability to execute on whatever else you would have been doing, but also have an alternative just in case it does fail. Uh, let's talk about another story, and this one is with Steve Prince. And Steve was a client of mine, I helped him sell about a $1.8 million property in Sacramento. Now he and his partner were 50-50 owners, and they were looking to buy about a $4.2 million multifamily property. But guess what? Life got in the way, and his partner, had a family emergency, he needed the cash. And so he had to bail out on the down payment for that 1031 exchange. In other words, they were in a situation where they're facing huge tax, and that tax was about 40% of their gain. Now we worked with Steve to save his part of the 1031 exchange, where the partner was able to just take, take the money, pay the tax. And so what we're saying here is you have the ability to have partnership separation, you have the ability to save your 1031 exchange, and we help Steve and we can help you as well. Uh, let's talk about another story we have uh, for our client. He was in Monterey and he was actually at the closing table with brokers who didn't understand the difference between a 1031 exchange, a regular installment sale, and the rules that essentially once you pick a lane, you're going down that lane. And essentially this is how the story goes. He's sitting down and he's saying, hey, I'm about to do a seller carry back with the buyer, but I wanna be able to do a 1031 exchange in the future. And they said, oh yeah, you should be able to do that, no problem. And he said, you know, let me check with my CPA. And he checked with his CPA and he found out that you cannot do a 1031 out of an installment sale. He called the whole deal off for a period of time until he found us. And essentially we saved that transaction for those brokers and also saved a lot of tax for our client now. Essentially we saved the transaction. He didn't have to do a 1031 exchange. He also could still do the installment sale. And this is what we're offering you is an alternative to a 1031 exchange or a way to save that 1031 exchange. Now he went on to do multiple uh, exits with us as well, and uh, we wanna do the same for you. And so all you have to do right now is click below, and that's gonna give you an opportunity to open up uh, a 1031 exchange with us and with our strategic alliance, 
that gives you a backup plan in case your 1031 fails, but it also gives you the education that you need right now, because guess what? The best time to plan for this is right now. You don't want to be in a situation where you're with a qualified intermediary and you only have so many time, so much time remaining, and they're not offering you this alternative. In fact, there's just a few of us in the United States that know how to do this and have the expertise with traditional Delaware statutory trust, traditional 1031 exchanges, and the deferred sales trust as the alternative in the backup plan. So you want to click below right now to get started. Now, let's talk about a couple other deal stories of mine that can help you understand what this could offer for you. And this, uh, this next one has to do with, with David Sloan. And David Sloan, for the longest time, had uh, exited multiple GP positions. He was a multifamily syndicator who brought in limited partners. And when they would exit, they typically would not do a 1031 exchange. And the reason is they wanted to go back into another property. And they're selling 10, 20, 30, $40 million deals. But a lot of times they don't want to exchange in those short period of times. As well, every partner typically has to join. It's, it's the whole rule of a 1031 exchange that typically the whole entity must move. And so for the longest time, they would buy and sell properties and they all would just pay their tax. Well, enter in um, our strategy. We were able to help them save all of their GP positions, defer the tax, and then reinvest into other assets uh, at their own timing. And that's what we're offering you here as well. So who is this for? It's for anyone who's selling highly appreciated assets. It's in a 1031 exchange or somebody who's not even planning on doing a 1031 exchange because they're in a syndication or a partnership and they're looking at a large tax bill. Now we have another client down in San Diego and they were selling a car wash. Now most multifamily developers and or car wash developers, they're in the business of developing real estate. And the challenge is with the 1031 exchange, the whole entity not only must move, but also all of the equity and also all of replacing all of the debt. So they were selling for 13 million. The basis was about four. It was an old taco stand that they had found uh, that a gentleman had owned about two acres of land, had been there for 20 plus years. And they made a deal with the owner of the taco stand. And they say, hey, look, we'll put you inside of the car wash. We'll double your business. And in the meantime, we will build a car wash. Um, and that car wash all in was about four million. Well, they sold for 13 million. And you see their, their unique strategy was buying the land at a discount, making a deal with the current owner and building for about four million. They sold for $13 million. And so that's a big gain. In California, looking at about a 40% tax on that gain. And so in a traditional 1031, they'd have to trade the 13 million to another asset. Well, guess what? They had multiple things going on. Number one, one of the partners wanted to cash out and retire altogether, pay his tax. The other three wanted to continue in the development business, but developing land, the thing buy for 500,000 to a million and then building a car wash. Well, as a developer, uh, it doesn't, 1031 exchanges are not favorable because you'd have to buy land or a property for $13 million or more, which basically negates exactly what your unique skill set is. And so for them, we saved their 1031 exchange, separated their partnership, and enabled each individual to have the unique custom plan for their capital gains tax. And that's what we're offering you today is not just a rescue plan for a 1031 exchange, but also the ability to have a custom plan for how you're going to invest those funds in the future, whether that be into passive real estate or to active real estate, whether you want to be retired or an entrepreneur. Also, you might be selling a business or cryptocurrency or stock. Everything that you're going to learn in this course, in this, in this 1031 rescue plan, um, is the opportunity to build wealth in a way that, that doesn't have any restraints from the 1031 exchange, just like our clients in San Diego, just like our clients in Georgia, just like our clients in uh, Monterey and uh, Texas as well. We have another client who exited $37 million worth of land. Now in a 1031 exchange, what's the problem? Well, the problem is you have to own assets for more than a year. In other words, you have to have it for more than a year to qualify for the 1031 exchange. If it's less than a year, it doesn't qualify for the 1031 exchange. So what's the alternative? Well, it's what we offer right now. You have the ability to sell and defer tax, not using a 1031 exchange, even if you own for less than a year. So this particular client, his strategy is to buy land. Well, not even really buy land, but like tie land up in, under contract and then find a potential buyer. But during the time he's finding that buyer, he's improving and working with the city or the county to rezone the property. He puts up like a non-refundable deposit in the beginning. And essentially he's just saying, look, I'm gonna try to add value over the next 180 days. 
If I can do that, great. And then I have a buyer to buy once I've done the entitlements. And that's essentially what he did. He improved the property and sold it less than holding for a year and was able to defer a large amount of, in this scenario, ordinary income tax. And so who does this work for? It works for developers. It works for people who are holding assets for less than a year. It works for you if you're in a 10, 31 exchange. It works for commercial real estate syndicators. And so whether you're a broker watching this, whether you're an owner watching this, or you're a commercial real estate syndicator or fund manager, you're going to want to know how to save a failed 1031 exchange. We have funds that we work with across the country who constantly talk to us. And these are real estate funds that say, hey, look, I have people calling me every single day saying, hey, I'd like to 1031 exchange into your fund. Can I do that? And they're turning away millions and millions of dollars from people who want to invest with them because they do not know about this solution. They don't know how to solve this problem. And so I'm here to tell you that we can solve it. We've solved it. We continue to solve it. And by the way, sometimes it's a mix between multiple strategies. In fact, Ron Anderson, our client in Colorado, he and his wife had a $4.5 million multifamily property. And they were airbnb it out and it was doing phenomenal, right? And they were getting tons of cash flow, but it was taking up their number one thing for them, which was time. They had made their multiple millions of dollars and they had a lot of uh, money and wealth, but their time was being pulled and energy was being pulled from this property. And so they decided to sell it. But what, here was their challenge. They had what's called a debt over basis challenge. And so during this course as well that you're going to learn is what a 1031 exchange can defer as well as what uh, our strategy cannot defer. And part of that is the debt over basis. And so how do we solve that problem? Well, we did a multiple strategy solution. It's a partial deferred sales trust and a partial partial Delaware statutory trust. And the beauty of this is you can do, a, it's called a bifractured 1031 exchange, right? So what you're going to get in this is the ability to understand what your options are, what your problems are, and what their multiple solutions are. Because guess what? Not one strategy is a one size fits all. But for him, he was able to get what he wanted to maximize, which is the ability to get out of debt in his name, uh, pay off, uh, uh, sell his asset, and then get liquidity to be able to diversify. And that's the beauty of this, because right now the problem we're seeing is people are seeing that 1031 exchanges aren't making a lot of sense because of what we call, number one, the inverse or the negative arbitrage for interest rates and cap rates, right? Let's think about it. About a year and a half ago or so, you could buy an asset for, let's say, a four or five cap, and you had ability to grow the rents, hopefully significantly, but also you were borrowing maybe at three to three and a half percent, meaning your cap rate, which is your unleveraged rate of return, if you bought it all cash, it's basically what your cash on cash return would be, was greater than the debt that you were borrowing at. Well, guess what? That's been inverse now, and essentially it's negative arbitrage. Interest rates are six and a half, seven, seven and a half, maybe eight, depending on what you're buying. And these cap rates are still hovering around maybe five, maybe six. They're starting to go up maybe some, but essentially you're having to borrow higher than what you're able to get the solid returns on. And that's not great. In fact, this is why we created the strategy. Back in 2006, I sat down with a gentleman in Sacramento. He owned $50 million of real estate. Now he had done multiple 1031 exchanges, right? And he was excited because he's getting lots of good prices in 03, 04, 05. And he was overpaying, not necessarily overpaying at that point, he felt like he was doing maybe some decent deals, but he was continuing taking on more and more debt. Well, guess what? The 2008 crash hit and essentially he went on to lose everything. And his number one thing he said before this is, Brad, I just felt like I couldn't exchange because I had too much debt. I didn't have enough liquidity and I had too much capital gains tax, so I couldn't sell and get out. And this is before we knew about this strategy. And so fast forward, we now have a solution for that. And so the question for you right now is if you could sell high and buy low, defer your tax rate, diversification, debt freedom, would you want to take advantage of that? And you can right now. In fact, you can click on the below link and it'll give you access to the 1031 Exchange Rescue Plan and also access to work with me one-on-one -on -one to help you plan this out, as well uh, access to our Strategic Alliance to handle your next 1031 Exchange. And essentially, you're gonna start planning right now. Uh, the cost is $2,000, which might be about $500 more than your traditional exchange, maybe 1,000 for some of the, the lower cost um, uh, uh, options out there. But essentially for $2,000, you are getting uh, access to this rescue plan. You're getting access to your for your next 1031 exchange covered. And also you're gonna get access to our brand new book. And this is called Building a Capital Gains Tax Exit Plan. We released this book and it's our entire story of how we've learned how to do this how we started at, uh, when I was at Marcus and Millichap, learning about this for the first time and how you never have to feel trapped by 1031 exchanges ever, ever again. So you can check this out. We hit number one bestseller. This will be a part of the offer as well. So take action right now. Go ahead and go to this link, click on it, 
and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Thanks so much.